Hey beauty, it's Carlene. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. In today's video, I will be talking about some of the handbags I purchased this year that I feel like are my best purchases this year and also handbags that I will have for a very long time are very high quality but also straddle the fence between being very classic but very modern and trendy as well. So if you're interested in seeing what those handbags are, then please keep watching. Hey friend, welcome back to the channel. To those of you who are new on this channel, I make videos on lifestyle, luxury, I do review videos, and I also sprinkle in a little bit of my motherhood journey. So if any of those things interest you, then I would love to have you here. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, and also turn on that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos drop. All right, let's get into it. So this first one is my Coach Tabby box bag. This was purchased, I think, think in the spring so I think it was mid-year when I purchased the tabby box bag and this handbag is just darling I love this box style that this handbag is in I feel like this box style will never really go out of style but I also feel like it's a very cute and trendy bag so very for the moment but also can be worn years down the line the leather on this is a nice smooth leather very thin leather as well this glove tan leather so it's, it can get scratched very easily but I have taken very good care of this bag and I look forward to passing this down to my daughter when she is like in those preteen years and she loves the color pink just as much as I do if not more so I think she will really get a lot of good use out of this but in the meantime mommy will be wearing this and it is just the most darling bag it's super girly but the box style gives it like this business like effect I've worn this with a pantsuit and it really pulled the look together I've worn it with boots like high heels I've worn it with dresses I've worn it with leggings this is a very versatile bag so this was one of my best purchases of 2023 I do not regret it I was actually going to purchase more colors and then I couldn't find any more colors it was like they were all sold out and I don't know if coach is still making this bag if you have any intel on whether coach is still making this bag or not let me know in the comment section because I really wanted to purchase a couple more colors of this this next handbag is another beauty from coach and this was actually gifted to me for Mother's Day this is my coach Ruby satchel 18 and this lovely shade like this is like a light burgundy reddish pink color with brown detailing. I think they are calling this shade of brown pewter if I'm not mistaken, but this is a gorgeous handbag. This handbag reminds me of the smaller speedies like the speedy 20 or 25, except that this one is even more functional because it opens all the way down to the sides, not just at the top. So you get a lot of access into this bag. This does come with a crossbody strap. It's just on the inside of the bag right now, but this bag is beautiful y'all. I love that it has like two zips up here. So so you can open it up on both sides and then like I said it opens all the way down to the sides so this is a gorgeous handbag it goes with a lot of different things like even what I'm wearing today it can go perfectly for like a pop of color with a muted monochrome look or you can play off of the colors of this bag so I love this bag it's so well made this is in a glove tan leather it has a smooth pebbled effect which I love and yeah, this is just a really beautiful bag. Coach products are such high quality. That's one thing I really love about the brand is the quality. So the fact that they made a comeback and they're giving us these trendy pieces makes it all the more exciting. And so this is one of the handbags that I feel like was such a great purchase, even though it was gifted to me. My husband actually went in and picked it out for me, but I would have picked this out myself as well because it's such a beautifully made handbag. I love the little handles up top. I think they are so cute. And I also really, really love that you can wear this crossbody as well. It does have a couple of D rings on either side for the crossbody strap. Another one of my favorite things about this bag is that it comes with feet. And the feet are already dinged a little bit. So I'm so glad this handbag comes with feet because it will definitely help preserve the bottom of the handbag because this is one of those handbags that you can sit down somewhere. And because of that, I tend to sit it down when I use it. And so these feet are the perfect kind of preventative measure to maintain the bottom of this handbag. This is really versatile, can be dressed up or down. This is one of my favorite purchases this year. 
The next handbag purchase that I feel is perfect for this list of my top handbag purchases for 2023 is going to be my Proenza Schooler Stanton Leather Sling Bag. I am not going to bore you with the same repetitive spiel on this handbag because I've done several videos on it. Instead, I will link the videos here so you can go back and watch them. But this handbag is everything. It is luxurious. It's an it girl type of handbag. It's very versatile because you can wear it like a regular bum bag or you can wear it over the shoulder or over your body it's actually my current handbag at the moment because it's just so good y'all it's so good it's, it's so spacious so roomy yet it does not get overfilled so you can fit tons in here and you can also give it a different vibe and effect by simply exposing the zipper if you don't want that you can hide the zipper it has this big pocket up front but also has a large pocket in the back as well so that makes this handbag super duper spacious and then it has a really thick handle that you can adjust which i absolutely love this zipper pull is really nice as well i'm not exactly sure it was intended to be used as a wristlet but you can also maneuver the bag a lot more easily with this zipper pull and the zipper on this handbag is so smooth uh, so anyways if you want to hear more about how i feel about this beauty then definitely check out my previous videos and the last handbag and i think this might take the number one spot for this list for this a top handbag purchases of 2023 is my Jacques Mousse Bumby New handbag and I have it in its dust bag because this dust bag y'all is the highest quality dust bag that I have received it's like in this thick um jute linen like mix material which I think is really nice it's really protective because it's so thick and sturdy so anyways this is the handbag right here So the Bumbi Noon is a handbag that I feel is the most practical type of handbag from this brand. Their box style bags tend to come a lot smaller, are a little bit more restrictive in what you can carry. So I didn't necessarily want to get a tiny mini bag from them. So when I saw that they had this size, I... I was ecstatic. I was ecstatic because I knew this was the perfect size for me and it really is. This bag I can dress up or down. I can dress it with literally anything like what I have on today and it's going to go perfectly. The only thing that I have not worn with this bag is a pair of jeans. I haven't worn it with jeans because it is white but besides that like this bag can be worn with literally anything, which I love. One of the limitations of this bag though is that it is pretty large so it can get cumbersome if I'm doing something where I'm a little bit more active. But this is a great bag for brunch, for date night, for a day of shopping, like this is it. I love the thick strap it comes with and I do know a lot of people tend to swap this strap out because it's thick but I actually like the thickness of it. I feel like it gives the bag character and it makes it you know just not look too basic. The other con with this bag is because it's white I do have to be a little bit more careful with it but that's not something that I mind a great deal. It's not a big deal to me because of my lifestyle but if you have a really active lifestyle then you definitely don't want to purchase this particular handbag in white because the leather is very soft you don't want to overdo it when cleaning it off. I tend to wipe it down with a baby wipe and that's enough. So getting it in white might be a little bit too much for those of you who may be more active on days where I am more active I'm out doing things I'm definitely not taking this bag but on days where I'm just chilling it's like a very chill vibe then I'm definitely reaching for this handbag so it definitely has a particular place in my collection and I'm really happy to have it this is such a gorgeous bag one of the more expensive handbags that I purchased this year I've wanted to try out Jacques Mousse for so long and so this was just a beautiful luxury addition to my collection this year. Also, you guys, I almost forgot this very recent designer handbag purchase. This is my Telfar mini shopping tote in this cobalt blue color. This was one of the last ones I added to my collection this year, and I am so happy with this handbag. The lighting does it absolutely no justice. It is a beautiful metallic cobalt blue color, and it just pops with any look. I love wearing this handbag. It's the standard shopping tote design from Telfar, so nothing 
something new there. It's just the color more than anything that I think is amazing with this handbag. Um, I'm definitely happy to have it in my collection. I realized that this size is the perfect size for my collection. I do have a medium sized tote and I haven't been reaching for that one as much. In the future, I will probably only be purchasing the mini because it fits a ton. I know I was talking to my girl Devin here on YouTube and she said that this is the size that she enjoys as well. And I would agree with her. I think this size is perfect for most people no matter what your lifestyle brings because it fits a lot. You can fit a ton in here. So this is the Telfar small shopping tote in this cobalt blue metallic blue color. All right, friend, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful to you. If you did enjoy it, then don't forget to give this video a like on your way out. That really helps your girl out. And also in the comments, let me know what your top handbag purchase was for the year 2023. So if you could think of only one handbag, what would that handbag be for 2023? Drop it down in the comment section because I would love to know. But before I go, I wanna remind you to keep letting your beautiful light shine. Keep smiling, keep your head up. I will be over here doing the exact same thing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one very soon. Bye.